by signing this memorandum of understanding, the government and the three partners in H2 Agro Uganda, Yamna Limited, and Climate Fund Managers. It means in 12 months, a feasibility study should be complete and ready for creation of the world's second hydrogen power plant. This project will also be expected to establish a fertilizer factory. Green hydrogen is the new thing. We have to walk the talk of climate change and clean energy. So, and, and especially when they mentioned that they will do ammonium nitrate, we just need fertilizers. So, the hydro resources in Uganda give Uganda a competitive advantage in producing hydrogen. Hydrogen as a base chemical then gives you the opportunity to do many things. You can use it as a fuel, you can use it as a base for many other combinations of chemicals, one of which is fertilizer. If this comes to pass, Uganda could be part of the hydrogen economy, but that will have to be demonstrated over the next 12 months. Give them one year, MOUs are signed, one year, and then you come back and tell us what you agreed to do. If you agreed to now do a feasibility study to concretely find out what will be involved, uh, whether we will, uh, we will have project-affected people, how are we going to settle them. This is the second hydrogen economy-related memorandum of understanding signed by government, with the first one being with a France-based company on the sidelines of the COP27 conference held in Egypt. To date, Uganda has no fully functional fertilizer factory despite the existence of raw materials. Ismail Musa, Ladu, NTV Business.